2500 days part two if you haven't already seen part one then go and watch that now please give me the give me the views but if you can't be bothered to watch that then let me fill you in about a month ago i put a post out asking people if they wanted a five hour full movie or to see a part one and part two and as you can see the majority vote was the part one and part two but only just so leave a comment on this video or the last one letting me know if you also want a five hour full movie but without further ado let's get on with part two Whee! since the very start of this series i have been living like this nothing sorted everything's just kind of all over the place no sort of it's just it's just a mess so in today's episode i'm going to build myself a very very large mega base i'm going to turn this area of my world into this and that would explain why i haven't uploaded in so long i'm just going to map out the area with with wool Hello. So the outline is complete, um, but I somehow messed up. So I just have to now clear 175 bloody wool. All right, so now this is the outline. The middle bit here is gonna be the storage. Now I'm just thinking, because I don't really see the point in emptying all of the water, because it needs to be currently on Y63. I need to go down 43 blocks to Y20. I don't see the point of emptying all the water because for example like this is going to be like diagonally down and if I empty all of it then I'm going to get a load of mobs spawning underneath and also from the outside then I feel like it'll look weird because it's just going to have a massive open space rather than water. All right so the outline here is done. Um, I don't know what's easiest because there's a lot and everything ab above the wall has to go including the water. I've got to do all of this as well. Why did I do this to myself? Right, now all I need is a load of dire, a uh, load of deep slate. I might just turn all of these into polished. Time to fill all this in. I don't know how far across to go though. Oh, I'll figure it out. Okay, so all this is filled in. Uh, well, this section anyway. Everywhere that I left wool is because I want sea lanterns to go there. Um, I've alternated bricks and tiles into it as well to add a bit of texture so it's not just flat. But these are all the blocks I've got left. So I think I'm just going to keep on going down the line and see how far I get with just this. I ran out of... Uh polished deep slate so to be fair it filled out quite a bit and i was kind of like all uh positive about the fact that i didn't need that many but then i realized it's only filled up that bit and i also need to go down quite far <laughs> so i think yeah you know you know you know what? i'm gonna go all the way around this section so i'm gonna go can i'm gonna go get some more deep slate carry this all the way around until this entire level all the way around there is full and then I'll go down to the next section and so on and then I've got to do it again three more times this is going to take me forever I've got myself all my shulker boxes and the beacon because maybe it will work okay now I just need a beacon all right and then that Phase two. Shulker boxes are set up. Time for me to just fill in all of them. I'm not leaving here until all of these shulker boxes are full. Okay, so I've decided to make some more pickaxes because I can't be bothered to come up and have to regen this every time. No! Okay, well, that's not a good start. No! Okay, then there's that. Right, that's not... Okay. Why do you just, why do you keep giving me just on breaking three? Okay, I got two extra. That'll do for now. Oh, 
Well, that was too close for comfort. I didn't have my totem on. Jesus. So I was just, I, I, was, I was refilling my uh, pickaxe uh, with XP and fell in, found out a problem. Um, okay, good, they've already spawned. But basically there was loads here. There was a ton of these guys. Oh yeah, there's, there's some more. Oh, okay, well, they're annoying. So yeah, that happens when I try to use that. I decided to put a haste 2 beacon up top and I have no idea why I didn't do this to begin with. It's, I completely forgot it even existed and it would have made it so much easier. But I suppose actually this is good timing because I've got a lot more, a lot more stuff to remove. Currently it's six in the morning and I haven't slept. <laughs> so I've been doing this a while and I'm not stopping until I have done it. Okay, it is now midday uh, I did take a little bit of a break but this is all finished I mean it's impossible to see when I'm actually swimming but it is all emptied down to the down to the bottom layer the next order of business I think is to get all of the sea lanterns I'm gonna need so I'm gonna do that now and you're actually gonna see that in the previous episode All right, I'm back from making the last episode. And as you would have seen, I made this splendid farm. I have been up AFK up here for a little bit more time so that I can fill in the sea lanterns on the section we've already done. Let's just gather all of this stuff. It only makes, oh, okay, no, wait, it's over a stack. Yeah, okay, I need a lot more storage in here. So close to full shulker box full, but couldn't quite get there. I'm sure this will be enough. Goodbye. All right, so now I can go around and fill in these gaps with sea lanterns. Right, so. You know, I just realized as well, I've got, um, I've got a heart of the sea. So that means I can make a conduit, doesn't it? How do you, I just need the shells and then I need prismarine blocks. Can't remember how many I need. 28 is a weird number. I want at least 30. Whoa, that wasn't supposed to happen. I was not keeping an eye on my health. And now I need those shell things. I'm just going to bring emeralds with me in case the wandering trader appears and any drowned that come, I will slay them. All right, so now that's done. Uh, how much, how many of these did it actually take? I swear I went all the way down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To like eight stacks. Drop a shell. Oh, never mind. So I'm going to need eight, 16. Oh, wait, no, I've missed. Oh, I haven't even done down there yet. Oh, my golly gosh. All right, so now all of that is done. I'm just contemplating whether or not I like this. I don't know if I want that in the middle. I prefer the look of that. I don't know, I'll make that decision later on. But either way, that used over 17 stacks. I did say I needed a lot of sea lanterns. <laughs> and then the next few, I don't even know how long it was, days, weeks, months, everything kind of just blurred together. But I spent ages removing the water, just making these sand patterns to section off different areas and using sponges and then having to go back into the nether to dry out the sponges and repeat the process over and over and over again and it took ages because of how deep it goes because when it goes down 40 blocks either i've got to use loads of sponges or like i did in this one i blocked off like a platform with sandstone so that i could more easily kind of empty certain sections and then the bit underneath the sandstone would pretty much already be sectioned off on its own because of blocking off the source blocks but yeah, this took a while.
And finally, that is corner one done. Now from that from that angle, it doesn't look that big, but then you fly into it. Like that is a, uh... <laughs> this is quite a big space. I think it looks quite cool though. I don't know if I can add any more texture. Like obviously these add a little bit of texture, but I don't know if I can add any more. But now I've just got to move on to the, doing the other three. And so I did. I got started on the second corner. I had a little bit more of a rhythm for this one now that I knew kind of what I was doing, but it still took me a while. And I decided to create more storage in the sea lantern farm because I was just overflowing. And then once that was done, it was just repeating the same process. This is why it's all cinematic shots because I was doing this whilst I was away for work, just doing random bits on my Mac so I didn't have my mic so I couldn't record. So I was just doing all cinematic shots. It's not very interesting, but I got it done. And that's corner two done. Now I just have two more to do. This thing is so much bigger than I realized it was going to be. This is just half of it. That took me a week to complete. And it made me use all my deep slate. So half of it has used all that deep slate I gathered over however many shulker boxes it was. 13 shulker boxes or something. So I had to start off this one by mining some more. I decided to go with a different tactic. So one thing I realized that was quite annoying about the last two corners was having to mine everything whilst underwater. At this point now, I actually do have the conduit set up because of getting it in this video. How many more fish until I get something good? There you go, there's one. Right, so, make the conduit. But mining underwater is still a little bit of a pain and just annoying in general. So rather than mining everything out underwater, building the whole thing and then having to do sections and emptying the water periodically, I decided to build down to the first flat layer and then even everything out and then empty the water so I wouldn't have to do the whole sandstone technique. And then it would just mean having to mine everything with haste to afterwards. Now, the only thing with this is that it meant obviously mobs spawned when I was mining at night. So it's a bit annoying, but... I did find it a bit easier, so I carried that tactic on to corner number four, the final corner. And finally, that is the third corner done. I've got one left. I'm starting to think, I don't know what to do about these bits, because it looks kind of weird just kind of like being here. So I'm tempted to make this line on the outside as well. I don't know, I'll see. It's just because like having them just there kind of looks strange. It's getting there, it's getting there, it's getting there. It's just, it's, this is taking forever. And finally, the time had come to complete this annoyance and gigantic pain in the ass of a build and do the fourth and final corner. But I also realized something when I needed more deep slate, and that is, is this. I've still got this machine set up for the diamonds. And I thought, well, does this not just drop materials? And so I tested it, and it drops a lot more than I thought it would. So without even damaging my tools, I can get loads of deep slate. I can just set this off, run around here, and then fly back and just like that one two three three almost four and a half stacks of diamond of of deep slate i don't know why i didn't think of this before so yeah kind of annoyed that i haven't been doing that the whole time because getting all of that deep slate did not take me anywhere near as long <laughs> hey ho of course i learned my lesson at the very last one completing this one actually didn't take anywhere near as long as the other ones not only because i kind of got my groove with how to do it but i just kind of put more effort into doing it and spent more and more hours doing it. All this cinematic footage you've seen does not even put into perspective how long these sessions have been. Just building the parts and then section it off with sand and emptying it with water takes hours. And I had to do that across a large space for four different corners. This has taken ages. But we finally got it done. 
So just enjoy the remainder of the footage that I've got. This took me way too long. <laughs> I think I've made four videos whilst making this one in the background. It's just, it was just boring and a long process. Okay, so I'm done with it now. And with that, the fourth and final corner is complete. Just look how big this is. This took me ages to complete. And it's finally done. It doesn't need to be this big. Why did I make it this big? I just have to move that to somewhere on the outside. I'm probably going to make a better one as well. And I need to split up these four sections somehow because I want each corner where the sea lantern split to be for something different right, to start off with i'm going to need to empty all these shulker boxes so stuff like sand i do not need loads of all of this deep slate i kind of want to keep i seriously don't know for the life of me where i have put my axe and then there's this random stuff oh there's my axe I have all of these shulker boxes that I can fill up with building materials. So let's get started on the villager houses, shall we? There you go. There's the bricks. And now I think, I think I left some um, thingy with bobs in the old place. Uh, did I? Yes. Now what I need is basalt and warped stem. Okay, I think I'm going to get two rows of this and then I'll get two rows of the warped stem. Alright, I just need a load of this. Jesus, that's a tall one. Okay, that should be... Ah, oh, never mind. I miscounted. Um, all of them. Cool. Right. Uh, how do I... Alright, so now... It's time to build. And I want all of these to be stripped. Because otherwise it looks ugly. And then I'll have it... Basalt. I don't want this to be alternating just for so it's a bit more texture. Yeah, I also wanted to put the purple stuff. The nicest sounding block. Some like that. And then how do I want it to go? Of that and then I wanted to do just something like that. I don't know. Maybe not the purple. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a builder. I think everything else looks alright, it's just the purple doesn't really Look as good as I remember it looking. I'm gonna have people laughing at me. I'm not a builder, all right? I'm just, I'm just chucking things about. I mean, at least there's texture and there's depth. Uh, you can give myself that, I suppose. I feel like that looks a bit empty, but then I also feel like I've used too many of these. It's not my house, it's for villagers. Here's a time lapse uh, of the rest of them. That took a lot longer than expected, but um, I mean, the, I like the color palette. I feel like the color palette fits. So if you look at it from far away, it looks okay, in my opinion. But I just suck at building, <laughs> so it just looks terrible from up front. I'm not sure if I want to put doors on or not. Uh, I'm not sure if I can actually be bothered because 
they're just going to be roaming around and shut, opening and closing them anyway. But the next thing I now need to do is I need to complete the walls for this top half. I need to get enough polished walls to go all the way around. And I need enough beds. So one, two, three, ten beds. I used a lot more blocks than I thought I would. And I've still got another layer to go. So I'm going to need to get, get more wood. There's one. There's two. There's three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I think I'm going to double up some because I've got... Actually, I might double up all of them. So now I just have to do the same stuff but down here. So actually, you know what? Start off. I'm going to put the walls in now. And now I've got nowhere to put the spare glass. Oh, I should have thought about this. It's time to get more wood and build the second layer of houses. And that's the second layer complete. So now, I just have to put villages and workstations in. Alright, I think I've got all of the ones that I want. I kind of want all of the librarians in one section. And that's all of them. And now obviously I just need villagers here. But first of all, I think I'm going to move these guys over there. Oh, I've got two cats here. Um, Come to think of it, I don't actually know where I want this to go. Because eventually I'm going to have a storage system down there. And if I put it all the way over here, I'm going to need to make a way for it to go all the way down there. I've decided I'm just going to leave that there for now because those are the most annoying parts to move, uh, the actual people, and I want to make a better iron farm anyway. So I think what I'm going to do instead is get some villagers into here. Why are you guys stuck? What's happened to cause you guys to be stuck? That's it, keep going, keep going. Right, and now... No, no. And now the painstaking process of doing this again. Although technically I only need two and just get them to breed, right. right. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. My plan is to trap them in like this so they can't get out, but the babies can. Should be able to just boop, 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 boop. Make a baby. Yes, okay. And then do the same this side. Where's this baby gone? You made a baby, right? Where, where is it? A baby should have been made. Where's the baby at? And why are you guys not making a baby? I don't know, but that's my plan. And now that's one quarter done. I want to just do, like, farms and stuff in the other ones. So I need to heal up my tools and such. Just like that. And now, I need to remove this. This isn't needed anymore. This is the worst guy to have trapped in here. Why, why fire, bro? Alright, that's completely gone. Why Why are there no babies? Okay, anyway. Today, I am going to build 10 farms that I believe everyone should have within their Minecraft world. Ranging from a sugarcane farm to tree farms, even to a farm that can automatically craft you unlimited wow. golden carrots for your world. If you go on to enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Get me to 5,000 subs, 10,000. Get me to a million subs, please. Also, I have no idea why I did this because this took me way too long just for this intro. Oh, okay. Now I've just got to remove this. That's better. So the first farm that I'm going to make is a bamboo farm. 
because since the update that introduced like bamboo planks and all of that i figured that this farm is a must-have that everyone should have in their world it just makes it a lot easier to make chests and all that sort of stuff and it's relatively cheap and easy to make As I was recording this video at the same time as my next video, I actually needed a load of hoppers. That's part of the reason why I was making the bamboo farm. But I ran out of iron. So I'm going to build a better iron farm. I put a post out today, as of recording this, as to decide whether or not to put the iron farm there and then somehow make some sort of stream or something for all of the items to come into the base. Or if I put the iron farm here in the middle of the base, I think it could look quite cool actually in the middle of the base. And the thing is, I can't figure out for the life of me how I would actually get the items into this system. Input chest is there and I'd have to somehow get it get it in as well as it look good. And I don't I don't know how to do that. I will leave you guys to comment some ideas for what I could do to either get it into the storage system and it look nice or a building or something to go underneath it. I've already got all the shulker boxes I need. Okay, so I've decided to create a bit of storage beforehand. So I'm hoping all the iron can go this way into these hoppers and then go across and do the normal sorting thing. Right now, it's time to set up getting the villagers in. I do have some villagers already here, um, but I don't know. Oh, I'm just going to get like a load of sand and turn it into sandstone. Oh yeah, I actually, I tried it already and I accidentally killed and ended up killing them. But if I do this, if I... If I uh... I remove their beds. No, no, don't fall off. Come this way. Yeah, nice. Come, come this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Get in. Cool, Gucci gang. Path find. Path find. Cool. Uh, this path is for the zombie. What? Have you already made a iron golem? All right. And now I should be able to just come hither and now get in the boat. Oh no, I've pushed it. 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 Uh oh, stop. Get back. Get. Why can't I move it back central? Move. Well, let's just hope it stays, shall we? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, well, you need to go. Eh. Go on, Fred. Get in the boat. Alright, okay. Alright, now I just need boats. I might just get three boats and take three over. And so the long part begins. Okay, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. They're being so stubborn. Just, here's the bed. Connect. Am I just going to have to use rails? Okay. Alright, now you, sir. I have to bring you all the way over. Hopefully you actually listen to the bloody bed. Connect. Connect. Just go to your bed. Go, go to your bed. Get... Get. Thank you. Jesus Christ. For these rails, I'm going to finally take down this dirt tower that I built for the All Advancements video. Which you can watch. You go, go give me views. This is, uh, this is going to take a while. Oh, they all despawned because 
they weren't traded with or name tagged why wait you were name tagged i'm confused oh i've gone too high <laughs> well i've gone to the second level by accident oh for crying out loud now go so now this one is fully active and this is all i did for the next hour two hours however long it was just gathering villagers putting them in the rail carts chuck them in their area and then going back and repeating the process well, now that is officially the last villager put in. I now just have to remove all of this and figure out a way to get a zombie in. I have mobs over here. Oh, I need eight name tags. George one. Oh, why do I have a zombie herd now? No, no. Can you? George two. Get lost, Ted. And then we'll have Freddy, Hod, Harry, female. We'll have Velma, Charlotte. Oh, I need zombies in here. Do they just not want to spawn on this side of the world? What? Okay, well, it looks like the only place where zombies spawn are all the way over here. So I'm going to have to somehow get safely, get eight zombies across. Unless I can get one across and then get villagers and then turn them all into zombie villagers. That will work, right? Ah, oh, you do quite a bit of damage. It's going to take a while. Dun, 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 ow. 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 All right, you want to stay there so I can make you some friends. So will you now do that and then fall? Uh, no, because I didn't leave it open. Right now, will you? What? How did you? Okay. Okay, that's two down. I've just got to do this for the rest. And then next nightfall, we need to try and get all eight of these in the right position. Now, where are you going? No, where are you going? Okay. All right, hurry up. No! Oh, all right that took way too long jesus christ but i have now cleared all of that i've got a zombie in each of one of these each with their own name on both levels so now let's just see what the rates are going to be like because i think i'm going to have a little bit of a nap at um 5 a.m <laughs> so the results after a few hours of afking and this entire side is full and now it started on the second section of like on like the single chest but I think the next farm we should make is a redstone farm. Right, so I believe this is everything that I'm going to need. Apart from, I also need three stacks, almost four stacks of string. And I don't have a fast way of getting said string. So why don't I build one? Here is a very simple but yet very effective string farm that you can build in your world. It takes advantage of the glitches in the game. It basically just duplicates the string as you'll see in a second. Uh, so this is a duper. So now, apparently if I do this... Oh. Well then, that's, that's an easy way to get a string, isn't it? Now, annoyingly, the witch farm isn't going to be as easy and quick. So I've got to fly quite far away to even find one. All right, here's our witch hut. Now, I feel like you're going to be annoying. I'm going to kill you. Now I've just got to do this. And now I just need to destroy the entire thing. I'm a bimbo. Okay, now I just have to do the exact same thing on the roof. No! Get lost. I've been playing too much Minecraft. This is just annoying me now. Okay, one there. Two, three, four. Oh, and stack. 
And now please tell me this is going to work. Okay. So the farm still didn't work, but I think I found the solution. The first thing I did was update the game to 1.21 because the rates of drops are higher in this update. I also experimented with the heights of the platform, so I did it 90 from the roof of the farm or 80, 85 and tried to test to see which was best. I think I landed on around 90, 95 blocks above the farm and finally i also did end up spawn proofing the entire area i think it's like 30 to 50 blocks wide all the way around surrounding of torches and then i created a little sorting system as witches drop quite a lot of different items and so now i have this little sorting system underneath the farm and a load of redstone I did all of this whilst I was working away in Manchester and I also decided to download a couple of mods, one of which was the free cam mod. So I'm actually able to watch farms whilst I'm AFKing to see if they're working or not. And it's been a major help in other builds that I've made after this. But now I think it's time to move on to the next farm I think everyone should have in their world and that is a stone farm. And how you build this farm is very simple. It's just a 5x4 area with water either side, lava in the middle, and two pistons to push you either side. That is literally it. All right, so the next farm that I am in need of is a shulker farm. Now, I'm currently at the point on my storage system that I need a load of shulkers. So, I've started to get some items ready. I'm going to need a lot more redstone, so I'm going to have to quickly head over to the witch farm. I'm just going to bring a load over. Peters, comparators, chests, servers, hoppers, <clears throat> lever. Now what's left to do is go and build it in the end. I'm going to try a different gateway. That was perfect. End city. Oh, you still got the little gremlins, right? I haven't killed them all. Yes. Okay, cool. So the tutorial that I followed for this farm was from a channel called The Archivists. Now I'm not sure if it's their original design or if it's someone else's design that they're just doing a tutorial on, but it works really well. Now basically how this farm works is because you're using scaffolding and slabs, you give the shulkers no choice but to teleport to a certain area of the farm where it will then get angry by the snow golems that are firing at them. And as soon as the shulkers take enough damage, they then duplicate and split into two. But because the original shulker is in that specific area, it means the other shulker has no choice but to teleport up top to the boats. And then rather than staying in the boats, it goes to a certain area by the center of the farm. And again, the same thing happens because they're constantly firing. So they damage themselves, they duplicate, and it's basically just that whole repetition. And apparently if the player stands AFK, because the shulker is aiming for the player, it means that you get more rates from it or something. I'm not totally sure how that works. As I am in need of wood, and to be fair, I use jungle wood as part of my builds and stuff. So I need a lot of jungle wood. I am going to make a tree farm for my next farm, as well as needing to make a bone meal farm. So this is the <laughs> bone meal farm. It's a lot larger than I remember it being <laughs> when I built it in my uh, tester world, but it's designed by enx 4 All the links and everything for these builds and stuff will be in the description, of course. But this is going to help produce me a load of bone meal to then be able to use on the tree farm. Now I can make a smaller version of this and attach it to the tree farm, but because I'm gonna be growing primarily uh, da, 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 jungle trees, um, they don't really produce many saplings. So I feel like there's no point in actually doing it that way. And then this here is said tree farm. Now it has to be, I have to be facing west, so it has to be facing this way when I use it. I suppose now it's just time to get materials for these. Luckily, it looks like a lot, but luckily the material list is actually quite simple. So obviously, yes, there's a, there's a lot of gla glass, grass blocks I can ignore. I should have a lot of these already. Right, there you go, full stack of shulker. That sentence made loads of sense. Right, well that's everything. The only thing I need now is some moss. And if I remember correctly, there was a blimmin' lush caves right around here, even though I spent hours looking for it. There it is. Right, now I can actually, now I can actually build this.
believe this is done. I just need to throw some uh, bone meal in here. The more the better, but I actually only have access to 60 currently. I just realized, doesn't my wither farm produce loads of bones? Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought so. Okay. I might as well fill all of this up and then I can start collecting new bits of bone meal instantly. This is what it's supposed to do, and it is quite quick. I did the 30 minute timer with this compared to a smaller farm, and this one was miles better. Now it's time to get started on this. I need to gather a load of saplings uh, and sort out these hoppers, and also fill both of these chests and the dropper everything with bone meal just like that so everything is now full We've got plenty of those but I need more than just 11 saplings so all right it's taken destroying a, a very large area to be able to just get two stacks of saplings Let's check a stack in there, stack in there. Right, time to test this, shall we? Uh, uh, which way is on? Is that on? That, that looks like it's on, but... Oh wait, was I supposed to... Well, I'm assuming that's not supposed to be there. Oh yeah, there you go. There we go. The only thing with jungle wood is that it doesn't drop many saplings. You know what, I'm just going to stay here and get a load of wood ready. Well, I am officially out of saplings. So let's see, let's see how much it got me. Decent amount. Okay, there's only four saplings in there. Right, so there's only a couple more farms that I need to and want to make. And so the penultimate farm is a sugarcane farm. Right, so first of all, I've got to dig out a 19 by 42 area. So I got this design off a YouTube channel called Hardship YT. Can you guys back off? I'm not sure if he designed it, but that's the tutorial that I followed. The only thing I changed is that I implemented the same flying machine as the bamboo farm. So the sugarcane farm works the exact same way as the bamboo farm does. But again, it's very cheap to make, apart from the iron for the hopper mine carts. But other than that, you should be able to make this quite early on. I've had to put an observer here so it can detect when this one grows up to three. And then the redstone line will then set off the lamp, which then sets off the observer. And then it'll go to the end and bounce back, the same as the bamboo farm. The final, th farm i think i'm going to try and do an automatic golden carrot farm and to do this automatic golden carrot farm i'm going to put it in my already made storage system which you will see next episode but essentially there is this giant portal at the end now initially i wasn't actually going to put this in but i've since changed my mind so all of the pigmen will spawn from a gold farm and they will fall down here and get killed uh on the on the on the wither rose right there and then all of their drops will fall will come down and get sorted into nuggets into a system that is down here as well as an automatic carrot farm which is down here and then they will both go into an auto crafter which will automatically craft them into golden carrots which will then shoot into a water system up into those hoppers and then enter the storage and now that's dug out i've just got to water log all of these I uh, just gotta hoe the ground. Uh, now I've just gotta get these villagers in. Now, luckily, I've got way more villagers than I need, and I still have no idea why this is happening. I need to clean up this world a little bit because I don't need that. I don't need that. There's this area, tough area that I don't need either. I just can't be bothered yet. All right. Now I'm hoping you survive. Okay, and now you go in there. And now you can't get out. But now I need to get minecarts in. Alright, do that. 
and then another one and then that there get those carrots in and then yeah you in there no you need to no get you in the right place make a trade all right there's that bit just fill this back in i'm just gonna use glowstone because i actually didn't have any torches and i can't be bothered to make them right now i need that there time to build the auto crafter bit now i believe it's that there and then droppers then that's there all right and then that's where the carrots are gonna go and then this is the oh sorter that's what i'm trying to say and then the reason why these chests are here is because for some reason i don't fully understand why redstone does what it does but with this sorter, if these are just facing that way, these lock. But if it's next to a chest, it doesn't lock. I don't really get it, but... Like that. And then lava there. And I don't have enough hoppers, somehow. Right, now all I need is turtle eggs. And I'm going to have to remember to get a good few... Because then you're going to need some for the gold farm as well. Well, luckily, I've already got all of these geezers. Give me eggs. 13 should be enough. I'm going to quickly make uh, fire resistance potions. Because I don't know where this portal is going to spawn me. And I'm going to have to get back on the roof. Right, that there. And then that there so then they'll run after it and fall down and then die right let's see where this takes me shall we oh it's taking me in my netherite area okay oh right this is this is under a lot of lava isn't it because i'm okay time to dig straight up oh yep and that's what i was afraid of and boop There's that, and then, right, so now that's ready, I just need loads of magma blocks, but I don't actually know how many. I'm not copying any specific sort of gold farm, but I know that there is one with portals, and they spawn on magma blocks, and you top it off with glass, and they chase after this basically it. Oh, I made the head height too high. It needs to be there. It needs to be there. So here's the annoying thing about this farm that I tried to make, right? I spent hours building this. Just then have to change the size because I realized it was three high rather than two and I did it all wrong. And then I set up the craft already because you've got to put carrots in and surround it with nuggets ready for it to actually craft so it knows what to craft. After that, I then made an AFK platform for the gold farm and piglins spawned, but they weren't going in. And because I've been doing this for so long already, I honestly just couldn't be bothered. So whilst I was back in Manchester for work, I went into my testing world and tested out some other ways to create this farm to actually make it work because this is the original design that you know a lot of gold farms have and it just wasn't working so i don't know if it's the update or i was doing something wrong but it wasn't working until eventually i found a design that did work well i have figured it out it's it's a slightly different design um i've basically had to do normal size portals and double the layer of uh magma blocks so each one now has two layers to make it just too high but the second layer is always in line with the bottom of the portal so that the pigment actually run in so if i sit up here and go into the free cam you can see that they actually all go into the portal now minus minus that guy apparently what's what what are you what are you doing guy what are you 
What are you doing there? Did you want to not? And if I go into the storage bit, uh, they are all here and dying, as you can hear. Oh, oh no. Um. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No. Chicken? Why is there a chicken? But they are all falling down here and dying. It's working! I'm getting automatic golden carrots! Now I just need the water stream and, and hope that it stays working. So at the moment, I can't actually join it onto my storage system. But eventually, the water stream will be up there and it will go into the hoppers and, uh, and yeah, go into the storage. So yeah, that's, uh, that's all the farms I'm going to need. All ten of them. So, um, this is every collectible item in 1.21. And I'm going to collect them all. Doing this took a very long time, over 200 Minecraft days, from collecting all of the shards, trims, music discs, to even one of the most valuable and rare blocks in the game, the Deep State Emerald Ore. If you do go on to enjoy this video, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe to help me out. Anyway, let's get on with it. Well, first things first, I'm going to need to turn this off so that I can heal up my pickaxes because I'm going to need them. And secondly, I've got a load of empty shock boxes here and I've got some more inside my ender chest because I am going to need a lot of them. All right, and now that's done. As you can see, it's currently day 2,252. Now, I want this done by day 2,450 maximum. There you go. Sandstone is done. So now I just got to have to check off all of the sand things. That's the stack of sand done, but... I also need a load of glass because I need every glass color as well as glass pane color. Yeah, I need a stack of each. Oh my Christ, I need a lot of sand. Now, obviously, I'm going to need a fuel source. So really quick, I'm just going to fill all of these buckets up with lava. All right, now that's done. Got the sand and the sandstone, but I do also need variants of the sandstone, like the slab, the stair, and the wall. Cut sandstone, cut sandstone slab, chisel sandstone, and then whilst the final one is creating itself, I am in need of a stack of grass, as well as a stack of dirt. And luckily, there is a mangrove biome. Oh, I need a load of mud as well. Let's just take this whole thing down real quick. This sounds disgusting. Right, how do I... Do I have to smelt mud? What happens if I smelt mud? Nothing. How do I make packed mud then? Oh, I need wheat? Are you kidding me? I've never made that before in my life. Okay, well, let's just chuck those in there for another time. I need that. I didn't realize how much wood was in these trees. Right, that's all the mangrove done. As well as... Smooth stone is now done. Right, that's all the normal sand done. Now I just need the exact same in red sand, which just so happens to be right next to my base anyway. I've got a lot of biomes around here, you know. Right, that's the red sand. That's the red sandstone. The sandstone slab, the stair, the wall, cut sandstone, cut slab, chiseled. Right, whilst I'm waiting for that to do its thing, I'm just going to quickly check to see what other blocks I've got. I need stuff like bookshelves, a crafting table, a furnace, blah, 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 blah. And I must have some spare here. Making things I've never made before. Smoky. This is such a mess. My eyes just get lost in all of the crap. Composty. Loom. Boop. Brimstone, fletching, lectern, rhinestone, smithing, stone cutter, anvil. Luckily, another thing I've actually already collected, minus a couple, are trims. I was going to save it for a future video, but yeah, I've already got all the trims. The only thing I do need to get are the new ones that came with the 1.21 update. Boom, stack of bamboo. Stack of bone meal. Boom. A stack of sugar cane. Perfect. Stack of rockets. Right, that's now done. All of the sand related items complete. Oh, well, I made too many. Well, there's the torches. Oh my god, it takes so many. That, how, why are they so expensive? What in the world is that? Oh, there's the lanterns. What does that do? Does that automatically turn into a brick block? No, that turns into terracotta. Why? Where's the stack of 
clay balls. Okay, good, I can make two. Sick. Sick, fam. I just need a glow squid. Hello. Oh, there's the isoframe and glowy item frame. How in the world do you make a painting? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Painting. I'm bar. Chain, chain, yeah. Where in the hexadecimal system is the lightning rod? Name tag, so normal arrow. Game's making me think I'm going crazy. All right, let's go find a cobweb. No. Where's the rest of it? Oh, here it is. This is another bloody block that I swear I already have. I do! Doesn't fit. Coolio. The rest of the ocean stuff. I need kelp. I need dried kelp. My conduit? Somewhere? Maybe? No. Where's that gone then? Where's my conduit? Try kelp. Block. Sponge. And a wet sponge. Oh, you guys are giving me seeds. String. I'm going insane. Yeah, I'll beat you up. So I think I'm just going to wait for this to finish smelting so I can cross off the bricks. Bricks done. I'm bored of just looking through what I already have stored up. So I'm going to go on an adventure to collect every type of wood and everything along with it. Okay, right, there's oak. And now I need a bunch of oak wood. So that's oak done. Why? Why? How? Why? Cool, that's jungle done. All right, that's birch. So, I found a frog. That's a case here done. Dark oak log done. And that's the cherry one done. What? Okay, that's not ideal. Let me out. No, my cat. No, I'm a cat. I think. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. That spruce done. That is officially all of the wood. And I was collecting flowers along the way because I need flowers anyway. But also, I need the dye. Now, just to make every colour of glass and panes and banners and candles and so on. I need one die per bloody thing? I thought it was just like one die and then I could put like... It would like give me a full stack back, you know? But it doesn't! Oh my god. I need so much more than I thought I did. Okay, so I definitely don't have enough then. Oh, uh, well, I got a load more die opportunities now. Now that's all the glass completely done. And that's the panes done. All right, now I need a load of wool. Oh, again, it's one die per wall. Are you kidding me? Why? But why, though? But why? But why is it like that, though? All right, well, rather than looking for blue flowers, I'm just going to use lapis because it never even occurred to me that lapis actually turns into blue dye. And whilst I'm down here, I also need ores. You. You know, I got so used to caves and stuff looking like this that I completely forgot I had a mod installed. This is what they'd normally look like. Ah, that was a smart decision by me to install that. Does deep sea coal exist? This is quite an insane structure, but how did I, uh, how did I get in here? Uh, where am I now? Yeah, I don't know where I am. Okay, so now that's all the wool. And that's the carpets done. And that's the banners done. How much dye do I need then? Okay, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Just do this. And 
that is the concrete powder and the concrete done. All right, next, terracotta. Right, that's the normal terracotta fully complete. Now I just need to wait for all of these to smell. In the meantime, I need candles, which means I need wax, which means I need bees. I might suggest find a load of bees over yonder and harvest all their organs to, well, not the bees organs, the the hives organs, to be able to make the candles. And now I just need one of each color. White candle, black candle. Brown. And that's officially all of the colour stuff done. Jeez, that took me so long to do. I'm just going to get a load of wheat now. Because I need a little bit more packed mud, a little bit more mud bricks. And I also need just one lot of wheat and one hay bale as well. One of those, one of those. That's all the mud stuff. Is that pods all? Oh, well I need all of that. Now if I do this, is it only still only going to turn one, or is it going to turn more than one? And it still only turned one. Okay, cool. Well, that's fun. My light was about to die. Don't know where my spare one is. Now I need to find coarse dirt. That was quicker than expected. I lied before about all the colors being done. Now all the colors done and I'm going to have to get rid of this because otherwise it's going to annoy me. I can't lie. This is this is a really boring process, but I do need every single, every single item in the game. Remember every single one for my pain. Make it worthwhile. Click the like and subscribe button. And I don't actually know. I'm kind of lost with what I want to do next. So much stuff. <sighs> oh, wait, hold on. I've already got these. Get my prismarine. I also need the shards and crystals, seagrass. Do I have another heart of the sea? I swear I have a second heart of the sea. Oh, I do. Now I need to find my conduit. I don't know where I put it. Uh, never mind, it's right there. Seagrass. Editing Tom here. Now, for some reason, the next one hour and 20 minutes worth of footage uh, is all black and I don't know why. But I think I basically just got all of the bamboo stuff and some underground bits like glow lichen and such and then flowers and things like that. As well as I crafted a lot of the food items I needed and I got ready and planted some melons and pumpkins. Now I'm going to make a quick little mini sort of honey farm type of thing. So how are you doing? Right, let me get on and build this real quick. That is that done. I just need to place the beehives behind the flowers there and get bottles and shears into here. So obviously now I just got to keep on breathing these until uh, until I've got everything that I need. Okay. Well, I don't think there's actually three bees in each of these, but there's enough, as you can see. Now they're actually finally doing something, but annoyingly, I actually almost got a full block. Okay. Well. I've and by full block, I mean full stack of this. Just whilst I was set up. So now, what I'm going to do is turn all of these into bottles. Right, well, whilst I'm waiting for the honey to do its thing, I'm going to take down my original slime farm because it just doesn't work anymore. I don't know what changed, but since I updated, it just doesn't work and i'm going to move it to the swamp where the witch farm is yeah so yeah that's basically that's what i'm doing right so that's now all done and disappeared and gone why does that keep happening and finally with that that is stacks of everything that i need oh wait i need I need 16 bottles. And there we are, 16 bottles. Now I can go over to the swamp biome and try and make some sort of slime farm. All right, now I've just got to remember how, uh, how, how to do this. Let's see if this works, shall we? When did that happen? 
You killed my golem. Why did they spawn? They're not supposed to spawn. Right now, the light should not have any zeros. Okay, it's working. Jesus, right. I've been AFK for some time, so let's see. Let's see how much I've got, shall we? I'm hoping it's a lot. Yes. Okay, it works. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna bring all of it. But at least I know it works. So I need a stack of slime balls as well as slime blocks. And that is the slime done. I'm gonna go find some uh, underwater ravines, I think. To try and get a stack of glowing ink sacks. Why? 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 You're... Right. You're lost. Okay. And I feel bad about this, but I feel like you need to be put out of your misery. Glow squid. Yes or no? Yes. Oh, I need you. Done. Uh, which way was home? Right, it's glow squid. Actually, I just realized I was all the way over there. I believe there are some suspicious soils and stuff. First try. First try. First try. First try. Just, just give me the sniffer egg. Well, that's your own fault really, isn't it? Oh, finally, Jesus. I'm going to move on to the nether stuff now because there's a lot of that. But luckily, when it comes to the warp stuff, I, sh I might be all right because I already have quite a lot apart from the stuff it grows on. Um, that's basically all of the warp stuff. I just need to get Nihilium off to the nether. Can you go away, please? Because I'm trying to sort this out. No, don't, don't, don't stay. No, stay. No, I said stay, you cock. All right, that is officially the crimson lot done. Actually, whilst I'm here. I need that, I need that, and I need a stack of this stuff. Oh, and the vines, the vines. Where's the vines at? And now I just need a stack of the actual quartz. All right, there's the quartz. And that's that. But I need a load of this. There's the soul soil. I've already got the soul sand. All right, there's the stack of basalt. All right, now I need a load of this. Why do I need 64 chiseled, bro? And that's all the blackstone stuff, I believe. I believe that's everything from there. Apparently I need a bloody stack of gas tears. So come here. I'm just gonna get the gas tears afterwards. For now, I'm just gonna manually get all the blaze rods and powder that I need. Should be quite easy. It's the blaze powder. Bye. Time to slaughter some more ghasts. I was at my parents and in Manchester for this next bit, but here's a quick rundown of what I did. I set up some copper items ready for them to oxidize before then moving on and completing all of the redstone bits and bobs that I needed. And then all of the stone and mossy cobble and cobblestone stuff that I needed. After that, I moved on to deep slate and tough blocks, as well as andesite, diorite and granite. In between doing everything, I'll go back and forth and collect the waxed and non-waxed versions of the different stages of the copper. I then headed into the end and collected all of the end stuff that I needed, like the end stone bricks and the normal end stone and the end rods and purple blocks. Oh. 
And at this point, all of the copper things were finally done. And the final thing I decided to do was head into the ancient city and collect all the little bits and bobs like the skulk sensors and the shriekers and echo shards and all that sort of stuffs. And now you're all caught up. Now that painstaking process is done. I now just have to do another painstaking process, which is I need the geezer to be journeyman. Right, one of you is going to have to lock onto this, right? What? You're telling me none of you want to... What's happening? Why don't any of you want to become a cartographer? There you go. For those of you who don't know what, why I'm doing this, is because in the newest update, there's a chance that when he gets to Journeyman, he will give me a Trial Ruins map, which is exactly what I need. No. How? There's no... Okay. Let's, you didn't even give me it. Oh, there we go. This guy is giving me a Trial Explorer map, which I can now take. So I need to go north... west? Oh, actually, one thing I do also need to make sure I need before I go too far. I need an ominous bottle. Although I'm not sure if I want a level 4 bottle. Alright, well, I've got a couple 1s, few 2s, few 3s, and I've got, a, you know, some backups of 4s just in case. Now what I need to do is find this trial chamber. Now I'd suggest dig down until I find it. Here it is. Where's, where's, where's the way in? Let me in. I, so all that time that I spent getting all the copper stuff, you're telling me I didn't even bloody have to. Okay, oh, what's the point in that then? Ah, I need you. Come here. Come here. Right, I need that. Oh, you. No, 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 no. Yeah, let me just... These spiders are the most annoying ones. Ah, oh, get lost. Oh, shards. Get lost. Oh. Is that where I use this? Or is that the other one? It might be the other one. How do I get the other one? Okay. I'm assuming this is part of the trial thingy, my Bob. Ah. Yeah. Well, there's only one thing I care about, and that's the that's the trim. To be honest with you, what what's 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 going on here? What's happening? You gave me a potion. No, basically I need to keep on doing this until I've got everything I need, and I need to do it one more time because I need a heavy key. That's part of my thingy. Well, there's a call. Yeah, that's what I need. Time to trade with a different villager to try and find a different map. I need you. What size are you? Medium. Don't need a small one. Wow, well, okay, well that's perfect. <laughs> Back at it again. Give me a disc. 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 Ah. Ah. I can't believe I've come across this as well. I need you. Why is there loads of snow in this one? Ah, oh, you little... Okay, this is not an ideal floor. Disc. Disc. No. Oh, you son of a gun. And so I continued doing this. I kept on defeating all of the mobs, opening up the vaults, and I wouldn't get what I needed. And I had to keep on trading with villagers, going to a different chamber, and doing the same thing. And this process took so long. Especially, like, I managed to get all the other stuff, but that one disc, the creator disc, is very, very rare. <laughs> so if you want the creator disc, be prepared to grind out for a very, very long time, but I did eventually find it. As you can see, I have got the majority of things now, and all I have left are shards and music discs. And luckily, most of the discs I've got left are just from Creepers Killing Skeletons. So I can quite easily set that up, but I think, to begin with, I am going to go and look for the shards.
Now, I've only got two shards that can be found in desert wells, so I'm going to try and find some wells now. And I had no idea that suspicious sand can actually spawn in temples. Hold up, there's a hidden staircase. And then apparently this area can have suspicious sand. There's another one. Hey, it's giving me three out of the four. Oh, just give me the last one. Cool, there's Archer. Well, wow, that was easy. Where does suspicious sand hide? Right there. It's bloody copper brick. Oh, you're not giving me one either. Are you really telling me that there's only two bits? Okay, there's one. Cool. Right, I'm only looking for two. Alright, let's see if we can get our four. Any plenty, blade, mourner. Okay, well, here's one. There's another one. Please be different. Yes. Go on, be blade. Be blade. Yes. Oh, finally. I'm right, at trial ruins. And I'm looking for a load of them. Yes. Okay. I believe that's all of them. Now I've got one missing, and that's Brewer, which is found in uh, Desert Tings. Oh, perfect. First try. And that's officially all of the shards. And now it's time to go back home, and I'm thousands of blocks away. Alright, to get the rest of these discs, I am just going to make a small little... Ch it's not really a farm, it's like a little chamber kind of area. So I just need to do this and just do a bit of a and now ideally I need a skelly now. Just get in here, please. No. No, what are you doing? Can you can you just now I just need Okay, cool. Yeah. This number one. I've already got that one. God's sake! So I've decided I'm going to try a different technique. So the plan is to lure in creepers, multiple creepers, into this pit and then get the skeleton to shoot at me and then hopefully the arrow gets set on fire and he kills all of them at once. There you go. Oh, that's one of them that I need. Alright, just need one more from Creepers. There it is. Then the next disc I'm going to go look for is the one that you find in ancient cities. And here we are. Oh, sorted. Boom. Off we go to find a bastion. Nope, never mind. Here's another one. You can also find them in these rooms. Oh, get lost. Ugh. There it is. Oh god, now I've got to get home. This is the most annoying part. Right, now that's all the discs done. I've got 33 days to get a stack of each frog light type and then hopefully find deep slate coal ore and deep slate emerald ore. Without further ado, I'm just going to make a frog light farm, I think. Powered rails, the normal rails, levers, iron bars, chests, hoppers, carved pumpkins, iron blocks, and the scaffolding. And that is the full. 81 powdered snow that I need. All right, and now that's all of the glass collected, I can get on, find a basalt above the roof and get started on this farm. And now it's time for the froggos. 
Oh, um, I guess I'm just gonna wait in here with these guys. I believe there are 11 of these. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, now all of you, follow me. Okay. You cannot tell me they've jumped up. How? Okay, so I think I'm gonna put the majority of the snow in, but not all of it. And then the rest of the place I will cover just with normal blocks. Now I can put these tap holes in. Let's grow these up. Well, that should help speed things up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come on, lads and lasses. Don't want to assume your gender. Welcome to your new home. Right, that's all of them in. And now I just need the ice ones. Let's get these full of slime. And now I'm just gonna get onto the roof. Uh, what? How's that happen then? Why? Why does it? Why does it? Why does it? Why are you? Okay, well, I guess as long as this takes me back to the same portal, this is gonna have to do. I don't know why it's. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. One, two, three. Please don't be too much of a pain in the ass. Okay, right, that's all of them. Now what I've got to do is build up to Y250. And now I'm just going to stand here for a little bit until I have a stack of each frog light. And as you can see, it's working quite well. Jesus, look how many there are. I've just popped down to check and I might already have a... Yeah, I've already got a stack of each one. That was easy. Alright, that's each other frog lights. And now literally all I have left is the Deep Slate Coal Ore and Deep Slate Emerald Ore. For the next just 17 days, I'm just going to go through caves and see if I can find these ores. There is no way that I've just found both of them. I just figured before I cover up this hole, because I was I was about to cover this up, but I figured I'd check just before I cover it up. And I've got both emerald and coal. Emerald ore. Deep slate ore. Check. Okay, that did not take me anywhere near as long as I thought it was going to take me to find. And just like that, that is every ore block collected and every item collected. As you can see, there's 55 shulker boxes pretty much full here of every item and i feel like i might have missed a couple but i've got all the ones on my checklist apart from as you can see the chipped anvil damaged anvil tall grass and large fern why do i need them kind of useless so i feel like if i just miss off those four i think you guys can forgive me for that i have survived over 1500 days in this world and this has been my storage so I think it's time for an upgrade. This storage system can hold every single item that's in the game, which I think adds up to about 25 million items. So to get started, I first had to design the storage system. I was messing around with different designs on my own. This is one from Mumbo Jumbo that I've also added a sugar box unloaded to. I was testing to see if this actually was quicker than your normal sort of storage system and it doesn't actually make a difference and so rather than trying to figure out myself because i'm not the biggest of brains when it comes to redstone i figured i would just use someone else's design because that's the best way of doing it now this is a design from mybun mc and his friend radical elder i believe mybun has actually only got 300 subs so he deserves a lot more from design for designing this but basically it holds every item in the game and there's also spaces for any new blocks that come into future future updates. So to get started, first of all, I need to check the materials I need. And the majority of it is basically just a large shulker box amount of 
chests and hoppers. Like, I don't need the black carpet because they're not going to bother putting all that down. I won't need the soul sand because I'm not going to use that either. Same as the frog lights. I'll probably stick with my design of sea lanterns and stuff. I think first things first, I need to dig the area out. So first of all, where where is center? Um, I can't get out of this hole. Let me out. There you go. Now that's done. Now what it's time to do is spawn this geezer in. It's so big that the schematic is lagging. Okay, where is the center? Um, oh, and now I just have to dig out the rest of the area. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, that was a bit stressful. Oh, I didn't think about this with the whole water removal thing when I was building the base. Oh, this is... I thought I was done with this. I completely forgot to start recording, but I'm basically going to turn my hardcore world into peaceful mode. And to do that, I've created this little section underneath my villager breeder. So that's literally just above here. I'll show you when I need to go out in a second. But all the villagers, hopefully, will fall down into here and end up in this corner where I can then click a button and a minecart will collect them, bring them in front of me. I trade with them and then it will send them off into this area that I'm just currently making now where they will be turned into zombified villagers and uh, basically just set the cap so no more mobs will annoy me when I'm trying to build. That works. I should push them all down like so. Okay, 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 okay. Seven items because I need 70 zombie villagers. So it's just a counter. So every time I press that button, one of these pops into there, and then it just means I can keep track of how many uh, I've actually done. So then I can reset if they don't happen to get any uh, jobs. Well then. Can you follow me, please, George? No, not you guys. The good thing with doing stuff like this in the desert is that zombies do not despawn. Eh. Now, will you follow me over here, George? Oh. Right, now George is in there. Ah, oh, the levers. You have my lever, George. I need that. Well, now we're... Oh, well, that's, that was quick. So I do this, send you off, and that's one count, and now that guy will turn into a zombie, and he's not picking one up, so I could just do this, and do this, and uh, the link for this will be in the description if you want to make it yourself, uh, transition to when it's finished, uh, whoa, okay, now this, should be the last one. There's 70 in there. Yeah, I don't I don't need you. Um, I'm not gonna risk dropping down there, but here is a replay recording to show you uh, what's going on in there. Yeah, there's quite a few. And now when I go down here, no mobs should be able to spawn in this darkness. I'm gonna mine out one section at a time. So I'm gonna do the whole of this area and then I'll move on to the next one. It's kind of annoying to see. Is there any way to kind of make it Ah, okay, well, that's a bit easier. Now I can actually see what I'm mining. Okay, okay, cool. Right, guess it's just going back to doing this. Actually, I've just realized something. All of this, none of this actually has blocks in it. I've turned blocks back on, and because of the shape of the thing, they've just had to do a big... Hold on, let me show you. So this is the shape, and everything that I'm currently mining out is all of this empty space. So I don't actually have to mine all of it out. Oh, for 
crying out loud. And mobs are still spawning. So something's not right. Why is this stopped? Okay, and now if that stops, this should automatically start it back up again. I can actually stop here. This can be the last bit. Now I just have to do the same on the other side and then do the height and the the bottom bit and then do two more sides. Okay, so I think it actually is now all done. And now what's left to do is collect all of these materials. I'm going to need to make a farm for all of this wood. So I'm going to make a little bamboo farm. I decided to demolish some trees for the last like half an hour and it's got me a lot more chests than this farm did in the same amount of time. So that's depressing. I think I'm just going to demolish the forest to be honest with you. Okay, so I've been here long enough to make a load of chests. Now, the issue is I ran out of iron. So I'm going to build a better iron farm. I believe that should be all of them. Okay, that's all of them. And now I just need a load of redstone. If my maths is correct, I need 7,188 redstone, which is 112.3 stacks. So I think it's time I do a redstone farm. So I made this farm in a previous video. Go watch that if you haven't already, as well as this stone farm that I made because I need a lot of cobble because I need a lot of droppers as well as a lot of observers for this storage system. I also needed a load of sea lanterns for the decoration side of things. And now back to past Tom. I've currently got all of these shulker boxes full of the materials I'm gonna need for this storage. And it's still not everything. <laughs> I wanted to do this before 2000 days, um, but uh, I've got, only got two days left. So now I'm in a pickle. To be honest, I think I've more or less got everything, minus all of the shulkers. I've somehow now got to build all of this. I think, first things first, all of the chests that are on the floor, and the hop might as well do the hoppers behind them as well. And I guess we'll just get started. anyone actually tell me what these composters are for that is one side done i now have to copy it for this side i believe as well as that side i believe this is also the exact same this is gonna be a fun many hours for me isn't it I need to get all the rails like this going this way and I don't know for the life of me how to do it if I was to do this then that one is like that but then break that one and then do that and then it's just it's so awkward I've got to do that for all of them I can't wait until this is done though, because then I will actually have some sort of base. Can you imagine I do all this and then it just doesn't work because I've done something wrong? Right, these. Oh Christ. Oh my God, I've got left. <laughs> when you're doing big builds, don't turn around. <laughs> Just, I've got so much left to do. Ah, oh, this annoying redstone here. Right, I might as well do the annoying stuff next.
not gonna lie, it's getting quite difficult to see what I'm supposed to be placing where down here. <laughs> so what am I even looking at? Uh, I think... No? What block are you? I had no idea that in my top right hand corner, it literally tells me what block I'm looking at. Why would we have a dispenser facing up into a hopper that's going into the dispenser? That makes no sense to me. Okay. Uh, right. You know what? I can't. I can. I can never remember which way I've got to place the bloody observers. Like, is is the arrow facing that way? The way that I'm facing? No, it's not. It's the bloody opposite. It makes no sense. This is the unstackable item filter, and this is the shulk unloader. So shulk boxes are going to come down here, get unloaded. Anything unstackable will come through this filter before then going up. The empty shulker items will take another route up, and the empty shulker boxes take yet another route up so in this one area there's three different sorters here's the annoying part is getting these minecarts in the right uh right way and then what i'm assuming the angle makes a difference because otherwise he wouldn't have mentioned it so the fence gate bit thing doesn't work so i'm having to <laughs> Try and nudge it into place. That's annoying because it gets so close, but... I don't know how accurate this has to be for it to make a difference. I'm assuming the angle does make a difference, otherwise he wouldn't have mentioned in the video how to get it at the angle. Yes. Oh my god, that was satisfying. Alright, that's the last one. Done. I think it's, it's close. It's close enough. I think it should be... Should be fine, hopefully. I don't know. I guess we'll find out, but... Pretty sure that's this annoying ass side done, so... I can... Put that back in. Oh, look at this. Look how much of a beast this looks. That's only part of it. There's still... <laughs> Still some more bits underground here. I think I'll do behind here first because this is all weird and random with dispensers and stuff. I just realized I've just done all of this. I've got to put piston space in that way. Now that bit is all done. Right, let's do this little section here. Now this is this side officially all done, minus the observers and the shock boxes. And now it's the brewing stand section. I've never made one of these before, so this is going to be interesting for me to do. just this side and finishing off this bit of redstone and such now the issue i have is i know for a fact i collected the right amount of items but yet i'm about to run out of hoppers and i've already run out of chests which means the ones i had collected are dotted around somewhere within the storage system oh no 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 told you i had chests hidden away 54 chests. Get me all these crafting tables. I know that there are supposed to be minecart hoppers here. There's two of them. I don't know why there's two of them. And it's a really awkward place <laughs> to have them. 128 minecart hoppers on this side. Nice. Alright, now it's just the fun task of doing this. 
And then I should be able to just go... Oh, wait, I haven't put down the... Comparators need to go underneath it. I don't know why, but they just do. Don't question it. How did he do it? If I do that, then break that. No. Nah. How how did he how did he put comparators underneath? What? Okay, I went back to the video. Apparently, it's not supposed to be two. It's only supposed to be one. So that should solve my problem a tad. Oh, well, now I've got way too many minecarts. Now nah, that's all of that done. I think now all that's left to do, I have to prep hoppers and stuff with timers. All the levers. Oh, not having a floor is so annoying. I might actually go around and do the floor and glass and stuff now because it's kind of annoying me and the ladders. I think that's all the walkways. So now officially all that's left to do are the hopper clocks and such. Three in that one and ten in that one. And then there's one more clock behind this one. There's no there's no clock in the schematic. Oh, it's underneath. And this is why building out a large space would have been beneficial because yeah, there's there it is. And now I believe that should be everything. So we need some stuff in the minecart and in the dropper and in something else, that hopper. And he said banners. Does that have to be banners? He mentioned banners, so I feel like it's got to be banners. But I've never made banners. Loom. First time ever making one of these. Um, okay, I don't know what any of that means. Um, do they all have... You know what, I'm just going to customise them all. Right, I need... Um, I need dye. Uh, these make dye? Oh, they do. Okay. Sure. Need three shears. Well, okay, so first of all, I need to remove that for the minecart. And he said I need to put the unique one. I need to put 15 and three shears. And then that hopper has one of those. And then the last bit goes in this one. Uh, how did I make too many? Oh, I counted 16 plus 2 is 17 rather than 18. Nice. Good math. I'm assuming this block can go back. Oh, uh, and now I need to go get loads of snowballs, apparently. And I need loads of shears. All right, now time to find the snowballs. Oh, crikey, Charlie. I need a lot. Okay, hold on. It needs to be completely full. And that's all of them. <laughs> Every single one of these needs to be completely full of snowballs. And then I also need shears and... Oh my Christ. Okay, I should have got more snow blocks. I'm going to get more blocks of snow, turn them into snowballs and fill all that in. And I'm just going to see you, see you again when it's all done. Okay, so now all of this is sorted. Every single one. That took so much longer than I thought it was going to take. Okay, so the next thing is all of these have to be full of snowballs. And then one snowball has to be in each of those. Right, now all those are done. As you can see, all these are lit up. Which means they all are full. All that's left to do, these just need 19 plus 1 of any item. So I suppose snow will be fine. So they're all pretty filled. Uh, I do have to put blaze powder and stuff in there, but I'm not too worried about that right now. The main thing I want to do here is just the storage, obviously. I think that is the storage complete, minus needing over a thousand shulker boxes. And this is what all of my bamboo got me. It was pretty much all full. And it didn't even complete a full shulker. 
of chests. Am I gonna have to build another? I'm gonna. I might have to build another farm. Okay, so now all of the shulkers have been put into these chests. I now have to go around and push these buttons. And then what that will do is move the shulkers into this section, which will then allow them to be filled. And then they'll eventually come into these chests where a shulker will then pop up on this line for me to be able to either take the items out or take the full shulker, whatever it is. And, uh, yeah. And now all of those, I've got shulkers. I have to do the same thing on the other side. And these should also now all be full. So now I'm going to have to load these back up because they have to be full. So now I actually have to decide where I want things to be sorted. Obviously I could just copy here. I need to, I mean I need I need those because these are the where the empty shulkers will go. I'm tempted to just copy his layout for the most part. I mean that doesn't make sense. Why would you have all that redstone stuff there and then just have rails here? That that doesn't make sense to me. I'm trying to decide what I want to do now because I need it to be open so I can actually sort the stuff. But I'm gonna have to collect every block and that's like a video in itself. I'm going to get some more deep slate and I'm just going to fill out the floor. So I'm going to stick to this similar style as above. Kind of annoying that it's not, it's not even. I might just do one side at a time. Oh wait, it changes here. Huh, okay. I mean, uh, okay then I think it makes sense then to do this. Because then it's even here. Ah, uh, no, because it needs to... Ah, this is so it's not fun. Do I have it in the middle, or do I just have, or do I have lines like this? Do I have it outlined? Something like that. So you know, what I mean? this works for this section, but how do I, what do I do with this bit? Something like that works, I suppose. I can do the same on this side. Right, I think that's the floor all done. I do have to do the roof and also this bit. I think I've got an idea for this bit. Alright, time for the roof. I'm just going to get all this scaffolding out over here to make it a lot easier for me to do. And this way... Uh, this might look messy, but it will be worth it eventually. I need to access the entire roof. Alright, and now all that is done. So as you can see, that's the design I've gone for on the floor. I think it looks quite snazzy, to be honest. I still feel like these bits look weird, but I think it would be too much if I put sea lanterns going all the way around. So any suggestions are appreciated to make that, like these top bits look a little bit less strange. But otherwise I like the rest of it. And then it's all filled in now on this part and the floor and the ceilings. I've gone with this sort of style on the ceilings. And again, I, I actually kind of like, I actually kind of like it, you know. But other than that, I believe the storage is finished. So now that I've completed the last video, I can get on and fill my storage system with all these items. This is going to take a while. I'm always scared when I do this that something's going to go wrong and not work. So let's see if this works. Okay, we're all good. And now I just have to repeat this process in the entire system. But I believe with the snowballs, I've got to put 20 items in, like that instead. Well, that looks like it works. 
And that is that section complete. So that took so long to do. And now that's that side done. So that section done that side done and now all the sides are done uh i need to put all the shulker boxes boxes back into here the only thing i just realized is i'm gonna have to fill all of these empty ones with fillers and now what's left to do is to test this thing let me just put 10 planks in okay so the loose input is here so i'm hoping if i chuck these 10 planks in at the end up back over here well, the thing is, I took 10, but only 5 have come through, so why? Well, I'm confused. Let's try it again. 11 logs. What? Why are they coming through now? Okay, so apparently you lose some items, but I'm really confused, because that means that they were somewhere, but they didn't go through. I mean, either way, the normal one works. They came through, they went to the right place. So now the question is, and this is the part that I'm most scared for, because... I'm not 100% confident that these hoppers are going to work the same way. I tried my best to line them up, but I now have to get a shulker box. What this should do is go into this chest and head down into this slot, unload it, and then all the items should then go through into the system. And the piston should break the shulker, which will then go a different direction and head into this storage. All right. Moment of truth. Why is nothing happening? Oh, I'm missing a blooming repeater there. Oh. Okay, so that means it's unloading. Which is good, because it means that the minecart is working. Okay, so that broke. Yes. Okay, so that's in the right spot. So we're looking for some glass. Right, well, that's all the glass there. So that's good. Took some concrete as well. There's that one. Well, that's not there, though. Well, that was back. Let's see if this worked. Hmm. Okay, well, it looks like thing the normal storage is working, but but this stuff, like bolts not there. That's not there. So where's all that gone? Oh, that's bloody why. Why have I done that? Why? <laughs> and now, seems to be working now. So I guess I'll be back when this is all empty, hopefully. For some reason, not all of them have come in. So like, for example, there should be seven of that. And seven of that. Like there should be seven of each. But I don't know where they've gone. Why is there three in there? What's going on? Where are all these snowballs coming from? Oh, now there's three. What? I mean, I think it's safe to say that that's working now. Right, well, now that's all sorted. I just have to actually design it. I think I'm more or less going to copy this design because it is quite a nice design, but on my own palette. How does that look? Does that look fine? Because I've got enough texture on the floor and the ceiling. I think that might actually be all right. Okay, so there's one thing I'm missing and it's this little section here, which opens up to the enchantment room. So I just need to go gather this stuff real quick. Sorted. Now I just need to fill this room with the enchantment. Okay, so this room is done. Don't know if this actually gets me level 30, but I'll find out. I actually kind of like how it's see-through, but I might surround the top in lanterns. Let's do that instead. Cool. And then, boop. Schneiss. Right, now all of that is done, I just need to put these blocks in at the top of everything. Now, I think my idea for the top is to do this. But then do I want to put... I don't know, I'm going to have to do this and then see what it looks like from down below. Yeah, I think that looks alright.
And now all of that is complete. I need 74 item frames to put all of these in. And I think the best way of doing that is actually bartering. <laughs> Well, you didn't give me enough. You gave me close, close. Thank you for your cooperation, but not enough. And that should be enough. Do I change all of this and under the glass to match the build? Like even all of this, I'd have to change all of that. So there'd be a lot to change to the deep slate. Basically everywhere that is still stone, including all back behind here. Do I change to deep slate stuff? Let me know. And then uh, I'll do that at the start of next episode. I think the final thing to do is to finally empty all of these chests into shulker boxes. I can actually get my base officially all done and dusted. Completely forgot about the fact that I'm gonna have XP. Right, that is that area cleared. Okay, and well, apart from the one slime ball, because I can't be bothered to go all the way to my slime farm, this is now fully complete and I hope still working. <laughs> Sounds like it is. So, subscribe.